Hello everybody, welcome back to another technical demo. In this video, how to consume GraphQL API using Purpose application. So my name is Daniel, I'm working for Reddit as a technical marketing major. So let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, what GraphQL is. The GraphQL is not a replacement for API, REST API specification, but it's a merely an alternative. So the GraphQL API has some good ability for developer to avoid uh, over-patching and under-patching. So which means that the developer uh, can retrieve uh, the specific data uh, what they exactly need along with their business requirement. So let's take a look at that, how it works in the practical demo. So first of all, in this demo, I'm going to create some theme and hero uh, movie uh, data. So let's try to create a uh, couple of entity uh, Java bean to represent the theme uh, from, uh, let's say, a galaxy far, far, far away. So the class name, the theme, and then I'm going to add a couple more of the Java uh, field, like a uh, uh, title of the theme and episode ID and director and the release date. So I'm going to uh, use uh, the one of the most popular movie of uh, the series of uh, uh, the Star Wars. So I'm going to make sure to add a uh, uh, data setter method here. And also let's try to another uh, the entity file is a hero because all movie uh, have all the heroes. Okay, the hero definitely need the name and surname and the height and some mass or and also, uh, what else? Uh, like uh, some uh, uh, the dark side or the lifesaver because they are all uh, the sword. And also uh, put in the, some uh, list type or episode ID because the, some hero uh, show up uh, the specific episode, but not all episode. Okay, just make sure to generate the getter setter method as well. Okay, let's try to last entity uh, here, to like saber, just using enum type, the, the color of the saber. All right, that's cool. So let's try to, uh, let's continue to create the example CDI bean, that there is a beauty of the feature of the purpose. So the, this CDI bean uh, will be uh, handled as a repository, and uh, I'm gonna de uh, define uh, the list of heroes and also uh, themes because I'm going to put uh, a couple more example uh, for this demo and uh, uh, to add some default variable I'm going to create a constructor galaxy service and uh, here's a three theme uh, from Star Wars of uh, uh, New, New Hope and the Empire Empire Strikes Back and the Return of the Jedi and uh, to add uh, the theme already list to all three movies uh, with the specific attributes. All right, and move on next. So next step, uh, we're gonna add uh, the, some uh, default uh, hero uh, data. So here is the uh, one of the uh, three major heroes, Das Bader and uh, Leia Organa, and also Luke Skywalker. And make sure to add the three heroes into uh, heroes of a race object. I'm gonna add heroes to add uh, Luke and then uh, Rina and also last one is Star Spader. And next thing is I'm gonna to uh, create so just two. Uh, method, uh, for example, uh, return all theme data. So the name is the all get all items. And then just return uh, all the theme array list. And let's try to uh, add one more method here. So probably the return time just one the theme, which means I'm going to return to a specific theme, not entire list. So this is why I need to some uh, unique ID here and return uh, that uh, the theme information based on that ID. So make sure the all import package here. And then, yeah, so let's try to 
create our uh, the GraphQL API, the resource Java class here. So make sure uh, the first thing is the class name is a theme resource here. And then I'm going to add a uh, GraphQL API annotation here. It enables a uh, developer uh, to have a CDI bin, and that CDI bin uh, will be GraphQL endpoint. And then we're going to use the query annotation. Uh, it defines this method, for example, here, uh, the get all themes, this method, uh, will be uh, credible with the name of all theme. That is actually endpoint. And we also uh, use CDI bin using inject annotation. And just invoke CDI bin uh, service dot uh, get all items here. All right, uh, one more the method here, the query, but we can add a description annotation as well to explain uh, what this method, I mean, this query uh, aims, all right? And uh, just to return the, uh, the specific uh, theme data, like using the CDIB in the service dot uh, get theme uh, method the, with the invocation. All right, uh, let's try to add the GraphQL extension first uh, using Maven uh, CLI command line. And once it's done, um, we're going to start the Quarkus application using Quarkus dev mode. Once Quarkus application is a startup, uh, you can find here two uh, extensions is already pulled down, the so CDI and the small read GraphQL. And the Quarkus provide uh, the full schema of the GraphQL API you can retrieve by uh, this endpoint here, and you can find all entire schema here. But so we're gonna more uh, we're gonna use more interesting and uh, uh, comparable way. So Quarkus provide the GraphQL GUI. Uh, it's a graph endpoint, and here is a for example on how to use uh, uh, this GraphQL UI, and you can uh, print the GraphQL format. And just click on the play button, and then you gotta return uh, the exactly what you need, uh, the return data what you exactly need. So here is some example here. So let's try to uh, call uh, the all theme using uh, query syntax, and you're gonna find the three uh, theme we already put it in the CDI bin by default. Uh, app, uh, default variable, and also we can change that uh, the query condition because sometimes the client side doesn't need to all data, so they just need to maybe release or title, which means uh, uh, they don't they don't need to invocation twice. So query uh, GraphQL uh, making you just call one time. Uh, this is avoid uh, over patching. And also, uh, you can print the uh, multiple uh, query at the same time, like a field, uh, the theme ID is zero, field ID, field ID one, but you can just hit the play button, but you can't, you got the, the exactly data without one invocation. So, so this is the under, avoid the under patching problem as well. So this is a really good thing uh, why you needed to use GraphQL uh, uh, for a specific case uh, rather than uh, RESTful API. So I'm going to create another technical video uh, about the ex how to expand uh, the existing API using GraphQL API as well as how to use a mutation uh, not going to break uh, the existing uh, GraphQL API. Stay tuned and thank you for watching. Have a good rest of the day.